Welcome. Oh wow, that one is. Hmm. Might as well. Till next time. Good day. Every bit of attack power is always useful. Good day. And on top of that. Ooh, Murasame. And it's cheap. On top of that, red two tier skirt by Pegaso. Might as well. Look at that, what else have you got? Oh no! Uh, this is a dangerous shop. This is a dangerous shop full of items that are normally end game. <laughs> For the sake of fairness, I'm glad that they're locked. Just <sighs> that's a dangerous shop. Just take my word on that one. And what's the last shop got? Welcome. Because normally you get like a whole bunch of herbal supplements in here. CD. And apparently you sell salad and... The anti-herbal remedy. Cola. You sure this cola doesn't have like, I don't know, codeine in it? I'm still buying it. Much obliged. <laughs> Alright, time to enjoy some new items. Start with this t shirt. Skirt. Let's see, what's the requisite on this? 80. And its ability is locked. Slightly better stats than the, stand than the sandals, but. Eh, the sandals. Actually, no, the sandals don't have an ability. I thought they did. Moving that over. Then next up, I don't know what the Shio Ramen provides quite yet. It does permanently increase defense, but I don't know what other stats it boosts. Chances are, uh, I'll fight something quick to see what else it provides. Also, Tin Pin Slammer. Tin Pin Slammer is a thing that exists. We'll get to it, because it's an actual in-game thing. And it also revolves around the last XP type. Mingle XP, which unfortunately will be impossible for me to get. Which also means, unfortunately, some of the pins that exist within this game are permanently locked to me. Because, again, pins require a whole bunch of different types of XP to level up. Usually, the XP that they have in majority determines what they evolve into. And some pins, unfortunately, require mingle XP, which is impossible to obtain because, well, there's no one around me who has a copy of this game that would be willing to, uh, Chip to this. Oh, just defense plus one, nothing else? Shit, that's not worth it. Let's see. Defense increases by one. Sync rate increase. Okay, this is 10 bytes versus three. Versus 13. Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat that. It's edible. Yeah, unfortunately, some some pins require mingle XP, 
and I can't get ming is it mingle, so unfortunately that's it. Son of a... Five 500 yen pins. Well, good thing they're relatively easy to come across. I have three, even. So, let's see if I can't get two more. And at that, might as well introduce another pin. Find the artwork for that one. There we go. Now to fight some wolves, because I think those guys are the ones that I've been dropping. The 500 yen pins. <sighs> and we can finally link encounters, so we can explain this mechanic. Another reason why healing pins are necessary. Because healing... Is it because, uh... In some cases, it is mandatory for you to fight multiple battles rapid fire. There we go. Give him an uppercut. If you do fight, is if you do choose to fight multiple battles in a row, your HP carries over into the next battle. So if you took damage, you better hope that the next enemies you're fighting aren't going to be absolute pains to deal with. Otherwise, good luck. There we go. And let's see here. Have an uppercut. Damn it. Well, at least the wolf's dead. Rest in peace, Wolfie. You tried your best. That's a lot of pins. Like, did they increase the drop rate of some of these? Or is it just that my level is providing that much of a boost? Hmm. Because that is something I do need to think about. Um. There are a few different ways that you can increase the drop rate of pins. One of those is changing the difficulty. The harder the difficulty, the more pins drop, and the more frequently they drop. In tandem with that, the lower your level, the more it increases the drop rate. And I've been purposely knocking down my level specifically so we have more pins to encounter and thus buy out. Actually, we have quite a bit of money. We might almost be capping out the wallet, because this wallet can't hold all the money in the world. There are better wallets, I believe two other upgrades at least. For now, the most we can hold is 99,999. But in some cases, that's all we need. The Negotiator. Yeah, sure, let's buy one piece of those. Look forward to your next visit. And what can we get in Whoa, Picasso? Oh god, nothing. Maybe another negotiator, so but the suit is uh kind of disgusting. Welcome. How much so far? Oh wow, I just realized how, uh, bravery- Ah, uh, I need that, I need that, I want that, I want that, I want that. I might actually grab that. Oh. Because bravery is a pretty big gate, and, uh, being able to supercharge Neku's bravery is gonna be very useful. Through a whole door- Hey, a door is decent. You're 
Ah, so in that case, I think I know which one you uh, decided to pull up. Probably Niowa. Because I remember I had mutated Niowa hanging out in like, a doorway or something. It does make sense that there should be a door around there. Kola, digest it. Let's see, what other food items have I got? Ants are not really. Might want to look around for something else that's easy to consume. Hmm. Oh, but I did have a uh, windbreaker. Oh, but that's going to reduce my pack power by a lot. I'll hold it. That's pretty good, though. Defense break. Oh, and she and Shiki's not even brave enough to wear it. Never mind. We're good. Um, one of the Paranats. Niowa. Is it Niowa Tepis? I believe I named him. Because, like, thinking about it, he has kind of... Like, the idea mentally on that one was, like, he's in, like, some type of ruined building. Presumably, he's the one who ruined it in the first place. Hello, ripoff pin. Let's see, did I buy the skirt? I don't think I did. Come back soon. What other food items are around? Come on in. Right, 500. Actually, I could just... I can literally throw my... <laughs> the situations randomizers get you in. I can literally throw money on the problem and it works. And that... Ribbon cargoes... Custom waste pack... You can't convince me to buy sexy class. Yeah, you understand. Surprisingly, you're understanding some of my mentality with a lot of things in this game. That's a good thing. Yes, no one will ever know. That's ah, 20. Can either of you at least wear the waste pack? Cheeky. It's a secret to everybody. But when it comes to designing things, I'm an absolute idiot. <laughs> Actually, since the next update is just going to be cosmetic for the most part, maybe I'll actually work on that card window idea that I've been kicking around. Like, for the longest, I've been wanting to do this, like, shattered glass type thing for the card window. But due to a whole bunch of life things, I've been, like, not paying attention to it as much as I should. <laughs> If I could figure it out, then definitely doing it. There we go. Actually, how much money do I have? Not much. Yeah, just move on. I'll be back at this shop eventually, I think. Oh, Tower Records. And more shops. Hi there.
What is this? It doesn't even have any stats! You're throwing your money away! Okay, you're not gonna tag anything. Why are there so many psychokinesis pins? <laughs> Oh, hey, hat. What ability does it have? The number of combo branches increases by one. And what stats does it have? Eh, not great. That one, on the other hand, is pretty good. Uh huh. Oh, ability unlock. When your partner wears. <sighs> oh, when your partner wears this defense break. I'm liking this. Thank you. Stay cool, Muffin. Unless the heat isn't the issue. Don't die. I'll send you some. I'll send you some fracturia in the mail. Eat. <laughs> oh, energy drink. Well, if it helps, uh, if it helps to encourage you to like take a break or sleep, I think I've got like 13 minutes left today. You can't. Oh, right. You can't wear those pants. I seriously went full derp and was like, "Ooh, pants. Let's wear pants." Oh wait, I can't wear pants. I'm not brave enough to wear pants. <laughs> oh boy, fuck! <laughs> what shop would be open at 5 a.m.? Oh boy, 5 a.m. <laughs> oh, 7 a.m. Worse. Sheesh! Make sure to get some sleep. Maybe. Oh, that's comforting. <laughs> well, if you want a monster, then I'm pretty sure there's someone in, like, Europe that you can look at who lives in attics. I'm done. <laughs> Oh, right, this is that scene, isn't it? Awesome, cold, really bubbled white, ultra energy drink. Hmm. It's starting to sound more and more like uh, a commercial. <laughs> Mingle mode. No thanks. Muffin needs more energy drink. Also, goodbye, Rhyme! And in a blink and you miss a detail, if you were paying attention to the top screen, there was a car crash. It's the little things that Square Enix does with some of its lesser known works.
Prime is dead. On top of that, we have to fight a bunch of toys. Time to call it a day. Oh yeah, one last thing, skills. You want payback? Then man up, huh? Yeah, um... Beat's not taking this well. On the bright side, though, uh... Watch yourself. We have a boss fight. <laughs> against frogs. So, normally the noise you're supposed to be fighting here, which is here, is a shark. And it's just... Poof! Gone! <laughs> Thanks, randomizer. Thanks. Oh no, I just realized. Hey. This means I'm gonna be encountering sharks more often later. And the sharks are fairly dangerous noise too. This is an important detail. A player can only live for seven minutes after their partners are faced. The shark. Oh god, it's got company. So, this shark noise, it's going to wander around and eventually rise out of the waters and absolutely gank us. Except it's not! <laughs> Normally, that's supposed to be a pain in the butt because the shark is only vulnerable when it decides to come out. But, uh, the game threw us a bit of a bone, and we got a whole bunch of hiccups that drastically boost our attack power. What time? I can't remember. You see? You see why teaming up is a dumb idea? How dare you? You think not teaming up would have saved her? How can you be so cold? Beat and Rhyme were our friends. What happened to her? We are all responsible. It was our fault, too. And who needs them? Huh? Who needs friends? They just laugh and talk like idiots and pretend to agree with you. So you end up caring about them, exposing yourself, getting hurt. Screw it! We're better off without them. You want people getting in your way, dragging you down? I don't. And I never said we were friends. You did. Pfft. Neku being cheesy, uh, loner. Chapter four, this is a day four. Chapter closed.
the fifth day. Hey, you awake? The mission's not here yet. Looks like we start at Tipsy Toes Hall today. So, uh, sorry about yesterday. I crossed the line with what I said. I was no better than a reaper. Oh, right now. We need to focus on the mission. Yeah, you're right. Beat. It's here. The mission. Free Spain Hill from the noise. You have 200 minutes. Nail and face erasure. Uh. Timer. Free it. Then we have to erase some noise. Spain Hill's right over there. Well, let's get going. Reaper Creeper. And now these red skull pigs. I'm not one to turn away business. But something about the mysterious fire. It smells risky. Hmm, what should I do? I know. I'll ask Reaper Creeper. Hmm. Uh. What's up with that guy? Reaper. Creeper. Is he having a stroke? Hmm. Looks like some kind of divination. See how he put that 10 yen coin on the paper? He's gonna make a decision based on where it moves. You mean where he moves it? It's not gonna move on its own. Unless we played a little trick. I think you could use your Sykes to give the coin a little push. Here's the thing on this one, on this specific minigame. Don't move too quickly. Otherwise, the, uh person doing the divination won't register it properly. And by that, they'll, I mean they'll actually deny the result. See? If I remember correctly, the coin needs to go all the way inside the circle. When it glows like that, you know you've done it right. An answer. Clear as day. Nothing beats Reaper Creeper when you need answers. Alright, white means... What did I ask again? Reaper Creeper. What was my last question? Let's move on. Let's... And a new meme. If I remember correctly, you need to do that minigame at least a few different times. It's a little finicky. Walk past this wall, then wipe out two of this area's largest noise. So let's look around quick. There it is. Hell, I'll even fight three. I can handle this! You're good as oh no! That's the core hog! Wonderful! Well, at least everything's falling over like dominoes. I'll take it! You're good as gone! Actually, I could just wipe these guys immediately. They're like a sink attack. That wasn't that powerful. Huh. Okay. Watch yourself. Wreck you. There we go. Simple battle. Shock warning. Not an option. All right, sell off some pins. 
then I think call it a day. So to those who drop by, thank you so much. I appreciate the support I get for this, with all these streams and everything. The card game even. This is the card game too even. So again, quick tip of the hat. Thank you, Muffin. Really appreciate what you're doing. Tune in next week, Saturdays from 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Standard for random games. Usually I take suggestions via the box that's up on Twitch or otherwise through so through social media via Twitter or otherwise Discord. All across the board, I tend to go by Sage of Magi, so that shouldn't be too difficult to find. And all clear. Otherwise, tune in Sundays, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. for game clearing. Currently, it is The World Ends With You, Fractalizon, or rather, Randomized. Bienvenido. Oh, you sell HP tablets. Nice. And they're digestible in five days. Oh, I'm buying that. that by the music CD, by at least one or two of every food item. And by the HP tabs. There we go. Muchas gracias. If at any point you miss any of these streams, don't worry. They stay up on Twitch for a couple weeks, then get ported off to YouTube into the Easy to Digest chunks. That YouTube channel is Sage Blake. You can also find other videos up on that YouTube channel as well, such as Sage After, a dedicated series of Sonic and Amateur Games Expo after coverage. At that, Tune in during the Sonic and Amateur Games Expo when that drops by August 20th through the 27th. I have an official stream day up on there. Specifically, it's the 21st. 5 to 7 Pacific to the Pacific Standard, or otherwise 8 to 10 Eastern. Oh, that's an easy bravery up. Hmm. It's edible. I'll probably have him chow down on that uh, while I do a couple battles. Then end stream there. And specifically, let's do those battles out in Tipsy Toes. There we go. Watch yourself. Let's see. Um, I think I've taken care of most of my outros. Oops. Yeah. Sweet. For hug. Sweet. I got this. It's all you. Have a nice uh, morning, muffin. Stay safe. And please get some sleep. Value sleep. I hate sleep, but value it. Shift away at that. There we go. Good is gone. And take a knuckle. Take two knuckles. 
Oh, right. I also got to set some pins for shutdown XP. Um, essentially, I, for I tried to explain it at some point, and I didn't. Essentially, for every day that the pin is that the game isn't running, then pins gain XP. I believe it's 128 initially per day. The, per the first day. Then it happens every day past that, up to, I believe, the fifth, when it just stays fixed at eight. Chances are I might just idle a bunch and have these pins upgrade as a result. Probably just going to be money pins, all things considered. Because I figure upgrading all of the other pins that I'm getting, um, that's going to make me especially broken. And I'm already shaping up to be fairly broken in this early game. Sell all of those off. So, just gonna load up a whole bunch of 500 yen here. And that should do it. I'll make sure that every time you open up the game, then all the pins gain XP based around how much time has passed since the last time you opened it up. The maximum amount of time that you can have the game shut down and gain pin XP is seven days. But it's across the board a good idea to check in either every 24 hours just to open it up and level the pins by opening up the game, or otherwise every three days, approximately, because that's about what you would get from the most benefit. Per time unit, rather. Here we are. So, with all things settled, I think it's about time I return to the void. Till again, Make sure to get some sleep. 